Hello everyone, uh, Jana is here and um, in this video as usual I will share with you results of this uh, week trading gold and also my thoughts and technical overview for the coming week. Uh, so uh, we will see where gold was this week and what I will be expecting uh, this coming week. So as you can see guys I'm showing you again results on FX Blue, which is an uh, independent uh, site and uh, my result uh, this week was 13,000 plus uh, a little bit of um, dollars. Okay so um, and uh, as usual I'm sending the um, pending orders and some instant orders this week I did also to my telegram channel which is JanFX and um, you can join if you would like to all the links you can find in the description under this video and uh, my telegram channel is absolutely free and uh, the official uh, address is just Jana FX. okay I'm just uh, repeating it guys because there are some uh, scammers out there and uh, other channels with slightly different address they put in there uh, it has nothing to do with me so be careful and um, go through only the official one and if you have any doubts you can always uh, send me an email and you also can find in the description of this channel the email address how you can contact me okay guys and um, now let's uh, see what we had this week and what to expect so um, uh, let's go for the for our time frame we'll have a bigger picture um, that's our week and uh, from the previous uh, week uh, remember we had like really huge move and actually the stopping point ended up uh, in uh, exactly the area I pointed out before of this big uh, uptrend channel like quite sharp one right remember I was uh, showing it to you and um, eventually uh, it stopped in uh, at one of the uh, resistant levels in here well we do know that it's all, of course it's all plus minus it could be a little bit lower it could be a little bit higher but uh, anyway the um, the area is still um, still stopped uh, in uh, about this area okay and um, so you see guys just to give you some of the um, thoughts uh, I'm using the Fibonacci levels just to see now of course expectation of correction or possible continuation of the move and we have um, the maximum point is 2500 so at this moment I, I um, have a few possible scenarios in mind so I'm just going to explain to you but uh, again with uh, the uh, some results of the financial uh, numbers this week are uh, still kind of more uh, thoughts towards that Fed is not going to cut rates in June so it's all about this at this moment and of course not forgetting about geopolitical situation in the world but um, my expectation would be taking everything into account that gold should um, go for correction now okay go for correction and especially we do have our channel and uh, as you can see guys if we will have a look that the support level of this subtrend channel and we have with about 61 of Fibonacci levels which is around 2060 something 2064 but about 2060 so I would uh, expect my main expectation for gold uh, to actually go around um, this area first right and of course uh, then afterwards who knows it might go even lower uh, that would be my thought because of um, that's the uh, kind of economical numbers of America and uh, with interest rates okay but of course uh, the other side of uh, geopolitical situation and uh, anything else can happen gold still might continue uptrend so at this moment guys um, uh, you see the this week uh, gold actually didn't make a big move right so of course the expectation would have been like well, why wouldn't be uh, having a sharp drop but uh, the problem is because it is still in a bigger uptrend right everybody's um, uh, quite bullish on gold and we have that bigger much bigger uh, channel which I was also showing you before like on the monthly time frame we'll have a look at it uh, that's uh, that's what everybody is expecting right uh, it's not um, over yet of this movement so uh, people waiting for it to go higher over to 20 uh, to 200 three four four hundred and 
well maybe slightly before 2500 not just yet so yes uh, because of this uh, people think it's just uh, pausing at this moment and uh, getting a bit uh, more strength you see in this consolidation and so it might um, start it to um, continue rise right so that's why guys there was no big drop that's how i see it okay you might agree disagree but this is my point of view like you know with my strategy it really doesn't matter which way the market goes the only uh, I do it, uh, of course, just to see the main picture, and it does actually help me with some of the trades. Uh, as you saw, for example, this week, if you're following uh, my trades, I had quite a uh, few instant trades when the market was going down, and um, I actually stopped. I had a few of them, and then I stopped right uh, just before we started to reach the area uh, 250 something, 53. I, I see it as a quite a strong support at this moment. So that's where, for example, I stopped doing my um, toppings of the cells okay and um yeah because that's what that's how that's why i'm doing this technical it helps because yes i'm placing the orders both directions buys and sells painting orders and wherever the market moves picks up one or another uh, i'm in profit anyway but sometimes it's quite um, useful to top up because you know i'm only going for the smaller take profit like i'm saying guys it's just an original take profit and because i'm sending it to you in some of your following i um, see it is a bit more safer way of doing it and once again guys remember that forex trading is a uh, high risk and you have to take all the risks um, profits losses you're going to make uh, at your own risk uh, and you're responsible for it i'm only sharing with you what i'm doing okay I'm only showing to you what i do but whatever you decide to do with follow it or don't follow it it's all up to you so just remember this always if you disagree then please don't follow and change the channel so um that's that's why how i see it okay that's how i i trade and um, what i'm expecting so well actually guys you can see i still have uh one of the trades uh floating here because i was also um topping up on this move down i don't remember if i sh if i shared this uh sales here i definitely shared i think the previous uh, day and uh, when i was stopping or oh, or maybe even the other day i you need to check it out if you were following it because i was topping up uh, a bit more on the other moves uh more on the sales yes i more into sales and buys um i top up less on buys more on sales because we're so high and of course i'm expecting a bit of a drop uh and um i had a, a, the one of the last sales as you can see it's also a bit bigger um lot size not as big but still bigger than i usually send to telegram that's what i'm saying you decide yourself what load size you want to use but use the lowest one i suggest okay to avoid the risks especially if you're using my system of uh, recovery losses i think it was only one loss this week which was also recovered all the other trades were profitable uh and uh, yeah you see actually here what happened with this last trade i had i didn't send this one to telegram channel but i had it uh extra one i put actually the take profit uh before the market closes in the evening i did it um sometimes in the evening and i walked away and i just thought i didn't want to sit and watch it until the market closes and i thought we're going to reach take profit but only by few pips you see it didn't reach it and uh i didn't close it manually because i was not um wasn't there at my computer and i didn't check the trades but um otherwise i would have really closed it so my expectation here is a quite strong support and what can happen i would probably think with the opening of the market it's not going to be gaps or anything unless of course something unpredictable happens never know but my expectation would be just it would be slow maybe it will go a little bit low and then it will hit my take profit but i don't think we will be breaking out 153 uh, level uh, that easy because we, i can see this is a quite a bit of a triangle so that's the pattern right and of course there will be breakout of this pattern the only question with this pattern so obviously is it going to break uh, continue the way down or is it going to break and going back up so basically from here my expectation would be it could possibly go just a little bit lower and if we will continue of course in this downtrend uh, channel then yes uh, we can break out and go we have next uh, area is 145 and a little bit lower if it will respect the channel then it could be somewhere around 130 something right 137 35 uh you can use that previous pin um so yeah let's say 
in in this um, channel yes yeah? so that's the direction at this moment uh, and uh, if everything else uh, will continue as it is then uh, we will see it respecting this channel continue way down inside uh, to the next uh, support level around 20 60 something just the way i was telling you earlier but at the same time because uh, this is a strong level and if the market still will be um, confused and concerned that the bullish uh, momentum will continue then what would here could happen is that yes we broke from this little triangle because you see actually it could end up as a more this way triangle but okay i used uh, a bit of the bottoms of the uh, candles here and that's why it's uh, end up uh, a little bit um, that way so basically this might stay in in this area of this possible triangle or might jump back inside that area so to be honest if we will jump inside i would be um, concerned about uh, we might uh, try to break out from that triangle and uh, going up and uh, in my opinion it could uh, go and take the high the previous high and create a new high uh, and that which could be around 2200 something so it's quite hard to predict here where it could be we have another extension level of the fibonacci around 2232 roughly um but unless there is some fuel going to be out there i think it's not going to be happening but i'm not excluding this uh situation you know guys because i will be still looking into sales more into sales and topping up at the sales i'm still not um into the buys as much for the long term because of the fed not cutting the interest rates yet okay that's why i'm still not uh, too much um, into the bullish uh, uh complete bullish uh turning for gold i mean i know it's bullish right now but i think it's just like a momentum you know like a momentum you just had to do this uh, but uh, i think the the real bullish uh, trend is going to be after after fed starts to cut rates okay so that's why i'm still kind of waiting for the, uh, the the good move down first and uh, um in that's why for example if it will start it to break out and create uh, another top then we will see right but you see guys on the bigger time frame we'll have a look also the problem is on the daily chart it didn't give us uh, a nice um signal here for a good um correction down right so it's you know usually it, it gives you like a nice red candle big pin if you would look um uh, all the previous turning points there is something i'm going to show you you see in the, in the weekly if you have a look on the weekly time frames yeah you will always have like a little like pin or something um well okay another like green candle pin and there's another big red one with another pin so there is something should be there which um should give us um, a little bit of uh, more um confirmation for a, a turning point you see like this uh, formation of this also pins and the pins down we're going here i mean okay here's not not as strong but at, if you look at uh, the formation right now it's not uh, really giving it the strong feeling that it should already turn around that's why this still could be a little bit of uh, jump up and then giving us maybe pin or something else uh and then uh, it will turn around see well it's the weekly uh, time frame and you see on the daily time frame i'm pointing out a bit bigger picture it looks uh, quite uh, like a pennant but the pennant the way of continuation of uptrend okay so that's what you need to bear in mind especially for the long term trading if you are thinking to buy and hold uh that's possible yes because this looks like a bullish pennant okay and even if we will go a little bit further down than this it still might end up as a bullish flag okay it could be still as a bullish flag but uh another thing to bear in mind is what i'm trying to say also uh not the same big move okay that's what i'm saying it could be another uh momentum but not as big as this because look this is nearly twenty thousand points and i was pointing out that um that move expectation from that previous move which was also about twenty thousand points as you can see right and then we had this big consolidation long long consolidation so that's after such long uh, consolidations we have these big moves so uh the 20000 and 20000 so basically that's it it's done it's done this uh move of this triangle 
uh, the consolidation we had here, which was a bit of a triangle, right? A bullish flag, a triangle, but anyway, here is much smaller. So that's why from this one, I will not expect another 20,000 to move of that movement, right? So from, for example, if we'll go another 20,000, which would be uh, going to 2,300 uh, 2, price range. Um, I, in, in here from, because it is that small, my expectation would be just a little bit going up to, like I'm saying, to take that top and going um, maybe 200 uh, to maybe next of the extension level, as I was saying, whatever, to do something. Uh, that's how I see it, because it is a really small pennant, and that's why I wouldn't expect such a big. For another big move like this, we need, again, much bigger consolidation, okay, uh, or good correction, and then again, uh, you know, uh, resuming the the power of the the bulls okay so that's how i see it so yes possibly we have a little bit of here um slowing down market is confused what to do um should we continue going up um or because it would, doesn't want to respect the bigger trend channel or does it want to go down because of this correction time uh, so that's that's how i see it guys that's how i see this picture at this moment so all i can say yes it was bullish uh we reached the support uh, we reached the resistant level of the um trend channel now we're creating uh, a possible pennant could be bullish uh pennant or could end up a bullish flag might go for a little bit of uh, move up and then um creating given giving us a good sign of uh, a nice uh, correction and um, we will see or on the other hand if the market is actually okay with the what fed expectation well i mean still a lot of people expecting could be cut rates in june i still can't see it but i don't know uh and uh uh, I mean, I can't see the cut of the rates in June. I still can't see it. Why, why would they do it? Because the numbers were so mixed this week. I think it's going to be too early for them to do it, to be honest. Yeah, I, I would think if they will start doing it, it could be just the end of the oh, end of the year. That's why I was telling. That's why I see gold is still going before it. And then afterwards uh, into the real bullish mode. It will turn into really bullish mode. I think at this moment it's still again its momentum. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we will see if we might... Uh, uh, still uh, go where it should go in my opinion uh, but i mean okay something else who knows but that's how i see it okay that's my picture but as you can see guys doesn't matter really i'm still making the profits whichever way the market goes and you can see it in my uh, telegram channel all the trades i share with you well that's how it works okay but that's how it works uh, for me anyway okay so that's my way of uh, doing it doing things trading um well that's it for now guys so i hope you like the video of course don't forget to like subscribe uh and uh, all the links again in the description under this video and happy trading everyone and i'll see you i'll talk to you uh next week bye everyone